I'm in downtown Toronto heading into First Canadian Place for my appointment with LASIK MD. I'm very excited because uh, after a couple of years of wearing these outside and now uh, of course seeing everything rather fuzzy, they're going to take care of my eyes so that I can see the world clear again and I'm just, uh, I can't wait to see the results of this, especially as I'm getting ready to head back up to the Arctic for two months and I don't want to be lugging these things around so here it goes. You're not supposed to be filming this part. <laughs> you, just let, you have a few minutes if you need to use the washroom. Why do you think that's time. not cool? Um, it's, it's, it's I'll let you decide if this is cool or not. I'm the only one wearing a blue cap, so. No, no, no. Unfortunately, you gotta, I got a. I'm the surgeon. I need to wear like a <laughs> cool one. It's always great to meet you. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. So here we go. This is the man who's going to uh, be taking these from me and, uh, yeah. well, throwing them far, far away. Fantastic. Looking sure. forward to this. And uh, I understand you've done that. A few of these before too. I'm not, just, I'm not the guinea pig. Just a few thousand. <laughs> uh, you're definitely not the first. I think after the first 50,000 we stopped counting. Wow, that's I think had a nice look at your chart and reviewed uh, everything. I do want to go over a few things with you. And we can discuss that and of course if you have questions, it's your opportunity to ask all the questions in the world from me. This is just a new attachment since my last expedition that I've had to wear these. Amazing. I'll be uh, paddling through the largest muskox heard on Earth on the Thompson River and Banks Island at Old National Park, and that's wow. just the beginning of it. And so the idea of losing these down the river or getting trampled by yeah, muskox is bad. Sure. So these, uh, maybe the last time you ever see me wearing these, I'll just leave them with Janet. That's excellent. Keep them Thank as you. Suit. You can keep them as a so souvenir. Here. I think this type of surgery will give you the opportunity to put that crutch aside. Because yeah. it's always a little bit of a crutch, especially with what you do in traveling. Yeah something you don't need to worry about that. And we'll be back in All about right. uh, 10 minutes. Okay. But come Have on fun. in and let's chat a little bit. All right. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> Are you good? Really cool. He did Are excellent good? and he's actually a very good patient. He oh, follows very good. instructions. Okay, and he does. I'm not going to mess with us. <laughs> great job. Thank for you. Thank you sure. so much, Dr. Paul. You're very welcome. welcome. Looking forward to tomorrow when it all settles in and Good. Go from there. Good luck on your journey. Oh, thank that you. Sounds very awesome. exciting. Appreciate that. Yeah. So my eyes are a little bit blurry now, but they're going to heal up over the rest of the day as I rest. And by tomorrow morning, it should be like uh, pretty much like new. So, pretty awesome. cool experience. <laughs> it's the morning after my laser eye surgery yesterday down at LASIK MD, and I'm back in Caledon, enjoying a beautiful sunrise. And I've got these sunglasses on still. They keep give me these to keep for uh, 24 hours. And we're getting ready to head back down for a follow-up visit. Uh, so it's about 6.30 in the morning. And then we got to do another visit another week from now, and another one a month from now. So it's a very, very careful process. And I'm not supposed to take the glasses off really yet, but with such a pretty sunrise and with the sun being so low in the morning, i got to just try these out and see, uh, see how it works. You know what? I can see everything again. <laughs> this is quite incredible. I'm truly seeing everything. It's, uh, it's like we're in the future with this technology that uh, I was able to go in there yesterday, have surgery done, and now I don't need my glasses. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing little birds flying past the trees and the clouds. And, and in my case, everything's different, I guess, with different people, but <clears throat> I can still see everything up but this distance just fine. So I'll be good to paint out in the field and probably in the studio as well. But just to have everything clear again, ah, it's like a gift. I, uh, I take that back. It's not like a gift. It is a gift. Wow.